Welcome to another edition of The Recruiting Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson, and today we're talking about more good news for Red Raider basketball. As Texas Tech landed one of the top grad transfers on the, on the market for this entire offseason in Marcus Santos Silva. A 6'7", 250-pound power forward who averaged almost 13 points this season at VCU. Look, Texas Tech has been kind of looking around to add several uh, big guys, but... Look, Santos Silva is was a hot commodity. I mean, there were a lot of schools trying to get Santos Silva to, to get him to join their program. I mean, yeah, he's 6'7", but his wingspan, reported wingspan, is something ridiculous, like freakishly, like around 7 foot long. Um, like I said, established score, veteran, you know, as a grad transfer, he's immediately eligible. He has one season of eligibility left. And, uh, he, you know, he told 24-7 Sports he's expected – uh, he's expecting to start. Everybody he was talking to, everybody he uh, narrowed down to his, you know, his top six list, which his top six, the other five schools other than Tech, were Georgia, Maryland, Ole Miss, Arizona State, and Penn State. So those are some good programs that Texas Tech beat out uh, for Santo for Santo Silva uh, for his services. And I mean, it's kind of like I'm not saying Texas Texas Tech is definitely done adding pieces, but this feels like the the missing piece, right? I mean, yeah, I like Zay, the, the new Y, the 610 junior college edition, uh, you know, that Texas Tech was able to get um, from Clarendon College. I like him, but I, is he really ready to go battle the Baylors and the Kansases of the world next season? You know, I highly doubt that. This guy, 6'7", 250, you know, he's ready to go to go mix it up in the paint. Uh, you know, he's played some good competition. VCU, yeah, they're a mid-major, but they play good competition, you know, uh, this guy is not going to be intimidated by you know some of the the top programs in the Big 12. Um, he's going to be surrounded and de uh, by great talent and developed by a great coaching staff at Texas Tech, and he knows that. And that's one of the things he said was you know just Coach Beard, his success, his uh, recent history of development, uh, developing players and success with grad transfers is the reason why you know he was interested in Tech to begin with, and of course uh, ended up choosing Texas Tech. So, like I said, six seven two fifty. 13 points, 10 rebounds. I expect him to start. It'll be interesting to see what that starting lineup looks like. I mean, I personally would like to see him and Ntombwe together. I mean, uh, you have a versatile uh, Ntombwe who can play three or four. I mean, he's more of a finesse player, but he played a power four position for UNLV, and he was a double-digit scorer there for the Red and Rebs a couple years ago before he had to sit out last year. You know, and then you start throwing in guys like Terrence Shannon. I mean, is he really like 6'8 now at this point? I mean, the guy just keeps growing. There's an athletic beast. He plays some 4'2 for you. I mean, uh, you know, and then Tyreek Smith, you know, he's 6'7, 6'8. He's a big, he's a hoss. He's been working with Coach uh, John Riley, the strength and conditioning coach, you know, since he got injured right before last season and was forced to miss uh, the year he redshirted. But, you know, I'm expecting him to help out on the boards and in terms of toughness down low in the paint. So, for me, I know a lot of people were concerned with that. They felt like they tech kind of got pushed around last year. There's no doubt at times they did on the boards. But to me, it was a concern, but not the biggest concern. I think the biggest concern would, was you needed a guy, a dude, to, a guy to come in who, who can uh, make shots in the clutch. And I think you have several candidates for that now. Um, you know, look, Namari Burnett, the five-star McDonald's All-American coming in. Is he, as a freshman, I, you know, I expect him – especially by the time Big 12 play rolls around, um, to be that guy. Uh, you know, and Tomboy, like I said, proven scorer. Is he a guy who can score in the clutch? Um, you know, and then uh, Jamarius Burton, the transfer, if he's eligible next year, he's able to play. Like, he's a double-digit scorer as well coming from over from Wichita State. So I think you have multiple guys who can kind of step up and possibly prove to be that guy. And, you know, who's to say that uh, Santos Silva isn't a guy that you can't throw maybe in the mid-post or around the block? And, he can get you some points with those long arms and those skills he has. So, I mean, this was kind of the missing piece. He is going to help you on the boards. Uh, he is going to help you with toughness. Um, I think he may not be a rim protector, but there are several ways to uh, operate in this defense, in the Iron Donut defense, and drawing charges and being in the right position and uh, just bodying people um, and and just those kind of skills, being smart, are all skills that you need in this defense as well. So. And then he does have those long arms, so I think he'll help some in terms of as a rim protector. So um, you can't all, all be Tariq Owens swatting almost three shots a game into the stands or igniting the, the fast break. Uh, but there are different ways to do it. And Santos Silva is just a huge addition in terms of solidifying what you want to do up front and just your overall roster. You know, you have a lot of athletic, talented 
six, seven-ish um, interchangeable parts uh, that can do a lot of really good things for you. Now you got uh, a true banger, for lack of a better term, a guy who could really mix it up on the block for you. And uh, you know, you throw in Chibuzo Agbo, a freshman who you know he's like, I believe he was 225 when he signed, so he's no, you know, small fry. He's no guy to be pushed around. It'll be interesting to see what, when he starts working with John Riley how big he gets and. You'll have a couple of hosses that you know people won't won't be able to push around, and um, that you'll be able to, when you enter the gym. I'm like, okay, <laughs> they got some big guys this year, um, and I think that's important. I mean, especially in the gauntlet that is the Big 12, where it really is as physical as it gets in the NCAA uh, nowadays. So, you know, Santos Silva, man, huge, huge addition for the Red Raiders, and uh, man, I think this really puts. I thought Texas Tech was already a contender in the Big 12 and a contender to make a run to the Final Four. And certainly with Santos Silva being thrown in the mix, added to the mix, I, that hasn't diminished it. It only has uh, uh, furthered that belief of mine that I think Tech is going to challenge for you know Baylor and uh, Kansas, of course, for the Big 12 title next year. And I, it, I think you have to consider them one of, if not the favorite, to, to do it. And then, you know, Final Four, a lot of things need to go your way, but um, and sometimes it's just matchups in the tournament. But I don't think you, it's going to be one of those things where as long as they're healthy and all that, I, you know, they're going to be formidable. I mean, I think Tech's going to be one of the one of the favorite favorites in Vegas to uh, make a run to the Final Four and possibly win it all next year. So I'll be interested to see if, if this is it, if Coach Beard is done or uh, – or if he still adds, you know, another piece. There's still some pieces out there. You know, Vlad Golden, the four-star center, seven-foot center, who, of course, has been heavily mentioned with Texas Tech. And then Jonathan Kaminga, like the number one player in the 2021 class, half-brother to Joel and Tomway, 6'8", you know, versatile forward, exactly what Coach Beard uh, looks for. You know, will he reclassify or not? We'll have to see. Um, I wouldn't put anything past Coach Beard. I, like I always like to say, he will be aggressive with the roster, and we'll be here to report on it. Uh, great stuff from Texas Tech basketball, as usual. A lot of exciting, uh, great news. Thank you for watching, and until next time.